come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest to take over the world. Ooh, much like a scanner. That's right. It's strange how that kind of leads into tonight's movie. But first of all, yeah, introductions. None of, us, none of us are actually talking right now. Mm-hmm. No, We're just, you're just it. hearing us. Yeah. 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 Uh these are the internet radio superstars. Holly. Michaela. Sean. And I'm calling it. I got tonight. that old urge to say your name Aww. for some reason. What? <laughs> I did. I don't know. It's I don't know. Because it's, of the it scanning. It's a I, yeah, yes. what? We're all Holly? scanning each other. Everyone Holly? wants to be me. <laughs> <laughs> You're just scanning. That's what it is. You've just been scanning us for the past eight years. Well, we, before we before this episode, we did establish that I'm a sea witch. So you are I mean, a sea witch. Yes. Yes. You're a sea witch. You're a feral oh, swamp witch. Oh, 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 I was going to say yeah. a wood goblin, which is not correct. Which is not correct. But that's the first thing that came I feel like that would be like my little pet would be a wood goblin, oh, right? Yeah. You know? Right. You that's my Igor as a wood goblin. Wood yeah. goblin. 100% have a wood uh, goblin. That's with wood goblins. <laughs> that needs to be a movie title right there. Yeah. Uh, the wood goblin. All right. Wood, well, wood uh, tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Sean. Or Holly. Or wood goblin. <laughs> the wood goblins. Yeah. Or, yeah who, who, who are you? Who scanned you to pick this movie, Sean? Uh, David Cronenberg himself yeah. scanned me to pick this movie tonight. Oh, we watched Cronenberg. Scanners. Mm-hmm. From 1981. Mm. 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 Classic. Ooh. I mean, it's yeah. iconic. We, uh, it, it's iconic. I mean, it's scanners. Like, mm-hmm. if nothing yeah. else, is iconic for one scene. But yeah. since... <laughs> is it because it's memed? It's just Lifetime everywhere? Lifetime Achievement everywhere. Award and gifts. I, I yeah. honestly... <laughs> yeah, pretty honestly, much. I think this predates the meme. It's just the exploding head movie. Like, yeah. everyone knows this yeah. movie. Yeah, everyone knows yeah. that moment. Was it the first movie with an exploding head? Like, a graphic, gory, exploding head? On this level? Yes. Probably. I mean, but it's, it, it's the most well-known. It's, it's the, the first one I know of. It's so colloquial, like... To scan someone is like a verb that's used in our, like, yeah. you know, yeah. it's like, yeah. I'll, I'll scanners them. You know, doesn't yeah. Gilmore Girls have a line like that? Give them the scanners treatment or yeah. something like that. Probably. Like, it pops up it was, everywhere as I a think pop it, culture reference. It was, yeah. an, it was a hit. I think it was Cronenberg's first, like, yeah. real hit. Like, because what did he do? Was it a hit off the bat? I read that it was kind of met with lukewarm reviews. Like, it wasn't... Um... I mean, I remember when I was a kid, I knew of yeah. Scanner. You know, okay. like, how you know I how like are you exposed to this Dead stuff? Zone is after this, right? Dead, Dead Zone's, Zone's after this. Yeah. Videodrome is two years after this. I feel this. like it's famous on par with uh, Pod People. You know, like right. it's, that kind of feels it's the what, same. what we yeah. all yeah. know, right? Yeah. yeah. The other yeah. out there. But yeah. considered he had been doing movies before this. Yeah. And yeah. like now when we look at them, like Shivers we did on the yeah. show, yeah. Rabbit mm-hmm. we did on the show. We yeah. haven't done the brood. No, I haven't. But I want to say this was <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, is the, what is the brood about? about? I have no idea. Have you not seen the famous clip from the brood of her licking the blood off the babies? No. Or would she, <laughs> no. she opens her dress I, 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 and yeah. she's got all not. the tumors? No. Yeah. I have not it's, seen this. Oh. Okay. Little well, mutant babies. You, yes. You can shield the applied to mutant baby yeah. fear of childhood. Pharmac- oh. or pharmacology yeah. in pregnancy run amok. I mean, yeah. there's a like, okay. common so, theme going yeah. on yeah. here. Consistent theme from Cronenberg David Cronenberg. If Cronenberg did Rosemary's Baby, it would be uh, The Brood. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's Oliver <laughs> Reed and yeah. uh, Samantha Egger, right? Who was yeah. in The Manitou, who we talked <laughs> about. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Penny Witches Sally 2 to you, Colin. <laughs> Penny Witches Sally 2. She flew. <laughs> flew! Across the room. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean... Um, he had done those other films. This one uh, came out from uh, Avco Embassy, uh, which was a distributor back then that did like, I think actually maybe they were financing, but I mean, a lot of they got, they were in the West Craven business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. We talked about this. They <laughs> did the, the three picture thing with um, John Carpenter as well. Yeah, they they had, they had a deal, but then he fucking broke it off. I think no. Well, they, he did the fog for them and he did uh, Escape from New York. Yeah, I think it was a three picture deal. I think maybe the budget for two of them was rolled into Escape from yes, New York. Yes, I think something like that. They ended up being real weird where they got out of the deal early, I think. Yeah. I think we talked about that. Did we just that. talk did about they get Avco out of the deal Embassy? Or did John no. Get out of the deal? What? Did they get out of the deal or did John Carpenter get out I of the th- deal? I think they made a deal where you make this movie and we'll call it even. Okay. I think mm-hmm. is what it was. Cause they what movie was that? I, oh, it was shit. Escape from New York. Well, I mean, the only two that he did for them was, yeah, because he, he, he had done two. 
Yeah, the fog and Escape from New Which York. Which came first? The Escape, fog. The fog? Yeah. Okay. Well, then they agree that Escape from New York would be the one, and we're just like, all right, we're out of the deal. This and will be the... Craven did uh, Deadly Blessing. I, I would say it was there. the rest of the movie. And Money Swamp went, was, Thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, this is, I mean, because it sounds like we're talking about the Alive Films thing that happened in the 80s mm -hmm. when they did Prince of Darkness and uh, uh, right. uh, They Live, John Carpenter and Shocker, People Under Stairs. Maybe but that was, this was like the, dark era. Yeah, 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 I know. This was yeah. the yeah, first yeah, one. And they, and they had okay. Avco yeah. Embassy had Cronenberg and The Howling. Right. We talked yes. about, didn't we? This sounds like we had this We've conversation. We've had these conversations. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, we've been doing this for 30 years. I'm sure we've had dog years. We definitely have. Yeah. Yes. Um, and so Cronenberg, after this, uh, I think this like established him. And then, I mean, Video Drone is a universal picture. Yep. So he goes Hollywood. Um, he does that. And yeah, you can see a lot of this, sort of the beginnings of Video Drone in this movie. <laughs> Cronenberg goes Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot extra, of, extra. Um, That's the documentary right there. Is this the most Canadian <laughs> of Cronenberg's movies? That can't be true. I don't think so. Um, no, I didn't feel the Canadian. What was the one in the apartment building? That one Shivers? felt pretty Canadian. Yeah, Shivers. that yeah, one Shivers, felt pretty yeah. Canadian. That felt pretty Canadian. Rabbit, eventually, there's people running amok on the streets of wherever it is, Toronto mm -hmm. or whatever. This one's yeah. Montreal. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't quite get like that. Like, oh, that's Canadian. Mm -hmm. Like, that yeah. moment never happened. There was a few, like, Canadian accents Yeah, out, they slipped. Yeah. Other than that, the ambiance wasn't very Canada. Right. I don't think. It's all, like, it's all Cronenberg city. movies, he seems to have that shot where he's, like, on the street looking up at these buildings that are bri like dirty brick buildings. He loves a warehouse. Yes, he, he does. Yeah. does. Yeah. It's never like a, you know, nice looking. No, you know? never. Mm -mm. It's always Although maybe like, things weren't nice looking yeah. back in the yeah. 1980s. Like every building they showed in this movie, I was like, you could turn that into some serious luxury lofts. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, it's just like, yeah, that's a redevelopment yeah. program right there. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's the scene. Okay. So yeah. I guess we'll skip ahead in the movie because we've got to talk about the scene. This is the reason anyone has heard of scanners. Mm. Yeah. Right. It, and um, it, honestly, it shows up pretty early in the movie. Yeah. It's yes. like the second or third scene. Right. In the it movie. was almost, I think it was set up as the first scene, but they moved it back in the movie based on test screenings. So Watching this is almost it, your opener. Yeah. I was like, th I thought that's how the movie started out. Right. I thought Same. that was the, right? Yeah. And I was surprised when watching yeah. it again that it didn't start mm -hmm. out with. Uh, mm -hmm. that, but it's, um, so what, what is the scene? The scene, the, the scene is that they are, um, uh, they're in a, an auditorium. It's like someone's giving a lecture, but it's like they're revealing that scanners exist. And what is so, a scanner? A scanner is a person who is born with telepathic and telekinetic abilities mm -hmm. okay. in order to read people's minds and also, uh, affect them in certain mm -hmm. ways. This is David Cronenberg's mind control movie. Yes. yes yeah. Basically. Mm -hmm. And so we have a scanner who's up front. He's like, I'd like to to um, um, show you my abilities, but I need uh, a volunteer. I love this guy, by the way. The mm -hmm. the glasses it's, guy who gets yeah, his head blown Yeah, because he's very much just like, let's do this. I don't care who you are. Like, right, I don't care. Right. It doesn't matter. Just he, get up here. Let's do this. Yeah, he's a little nervous, a little, a little socially. Like, mm -hmm. it's like It's like his first time being out. It's like he got the okay to explain his abilities, yeah. and he's very nervous about it. What was the What was the point of this demonstration? Well, yeah, okay. I think they, they. What would it take for you to believe? That this is real. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I'd a have public, to see it with my own eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. But even still, if I was sitting really far back in the auditorium, I might be doubting No, it. I'd want to be first yeah, row. Yeah, exactly. If, if I knew yeah. if they're like, We're, you come in here, he's mm -hmm. a scanner, and this is what he's capable of doing. Right. I want to be front row yes. so that the magician cannot pull a trick Exactly. Yeah. I need like no no tablecloth even on nope. this table. Nothing. No. Yeah, Hands in the air. Like, what was, you know? I mean, I guess what I would have we, to see but it was, I think it was, what was it I think supposed to be? Well, I think it was corporations or people who would be specifically interested. It was investors. Yes. Influencers. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, basically, basically yeah. investors and influencers, yeah. doctors, people who would be able like to people in, in the either, education world, like people right. of influence. Yeah, yeah. people this could affect and who it could be used upon, who could invest money. I think this yeah. is basically what they're going for. Cause so what? It, but what it was supposed to be was just this guy was going to pick people out of the crowd at random and somehow read their minds. Know, basically. Yeah, read their yeah. minds. He, yeah. literally, yeah. he literally said, "Like my my goal is to read all of you if I can." Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And that will demonstrate that I have this ability, and then we're going to go from there, probably in little focus groups afterwards. Right, but and discuss it and everything. He calls a rando from the crowd who volunteers. Yes, right? Michael Ironside is our rando. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Michael, I think this is his first which, movie. Yeah, which I mean, I understand. <laughs> like, I, I was like, okay, I get it. These people are in there like, okay, I need to see this to believe it. But at mm-hmm. the same time, he's like, just, you already know this, but fair warning, this is going to hurt and it's not going to be pleasant. And there right. are all these things can happen. So when no one raises their hand, I'm not really surprised. I yeah, just, well, exactly. See, I didn't know if he was telling people this would happen to you or if like, this is, it's not a pleasant experience if he was talking about himself. No, to that. No, I think it. he was telling them. Yeah, it's like scanning is painful. Okay. Yeah. It can result in nosebleeds. It could result in nausea. It can yeah. result in headaches, ringing You're definitely in the ears. getting brain damage every time you get scanned, it, right? It's definitely. Uh, I feel like there's so, so many <laughs> nosebleeds in this movie. Yeah. What was the other movie? It's Firestarter. Yeah. Actually, you know, there's a scene that I expected in this mm-hmm. movie that never happened. It's from Firestarter <laughs> with all the pregnant moms oh. in a room, you know, in the shop. Because mm-hmm. I think isn't that how uh, Charlie gets her special so. powers? Yeah, she's the kid of mm-hmm. uh, these two. Uh, medical experiments mm-hmm. yeah oh, they, right. they college take a, kids that did a medical experiment for money and, yeah, yeah uh, for some reason i thought yeah. that that scene was yeah. just, when rude. you mentioned a bunch of pregnant women all i could think of was the shaft when they end <laughs> yeah. up in the elevator oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> and they all get <laughs> dropped the and then all the babies drop out of their wombs which never happened in the movie that was yeah. just us yeah. <laughs> but isn't that like the universal sign that there is something happening mentally that's the nosebleed yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it is yeah. Yeah. fucking stranger that. things right. yeah. I was like we've seen I, I, that a million times right this times. may be yes. I, it said something in there this may be one of the maybe first instances in uh, it's before so, Firestarter isn't it in, in, when was Firestarter mm-hmm. uh, yeah it, Firestarter was 84 this is 81 so yeah, yeah. but one of the, um, the earliest incident, there, instances yeah. where your nosebleed when mm-hmm. you're doing something like so that. So it's which aneurysms, is, brain damage, yeah. right, whenever yeah. you're getting this Which is happen. great. Like, mm-hmm. it works. Yeah. And it continues to work. Look at Stranger Things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that. Well, they're so doing it because they saw a fire starter yeah. and, oh, yeah. and yeah. scanners. Oh, yeah. Boy, the, you know, and the other thing that you, they always do for to, like, demonstrate telepathy is, like, someone puts their hand up, too. I like that this movie resists doing that. Like, yeah, there's toward a, there's the end, they yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, there's a moment like, or two. Yeah, but yeah, cause you have to, cause it's you have mostly to, facial. You have to Professor exit and, yeah. and focus yeah. it with your yeah. hand. Yeah. And there, yeah. there is so much face acting in yes. this movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, it happens I'm, in that scene, right? right. And like, you know that it was, like, we got, that's we're looking at one take. Yeah, you know they did so many takes of like I I need I need your O face right now and I <laughs> yeah. need it hardcore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you're I, feeling something. It's yeah. burning. Yeah. It's yeah. burning. I, oh yeah, so <laughs> many people, there, there was a, so many people came in this movie. No, while so we were many. while we were watching it, I resisted the urge to be like, now you guys know what we see. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, all right, yes, exactly. It's just like, is this what we look like? Yes, and we're like, yes, yes that's exactly what you look like. <laughs> You should be embarrassed. <laughs> you should be. We, all right. We apologize. <laughs> we also kind of can't help it, but what uh, you know, whatever. I don't accept that apology. Okay. That's, that's fine. But, uh, okay. Well, what happens to this unfortunate soul this in un- this movie? Fortunate soul thinks he's going to scan Michael Ironside, but Who he thinks is just a normie. But yep, Michael Ironside scans him. And mm-hmm. gets mm-hmm. like this. And is they're in a face battle. Mm-hmm. Right, but you can see that Michael, very Iron- intense. Michael Ironside is enjoying it. Quite a lot more yeah, than this other man really is. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. having a good time. With the other one, uh, the other guy is getting not invaded, so and he did yeah. not expect it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, his uh, defenses were down. His it's, defenses were down. This is a rape scene. <laughs> yeah, Basically, yeah. it's a mi- yes, mind, mind rape. rape. Yeah. Mind yeah. rape. Mind, 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 copyright twenty twenty four. I don't I think like we'll ever use it, but yes, that, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll have it under. You know, you got to get that copyright in there just to have it. We'll squat on it. If someone wants to buy it from us, then we'll sell it to him. You can't really sell it as the mind rapers. No. I guess he ori- <laughs> Scanners comes across much better <laughs> than mind rapers. Yes. I think he originally called correct. it the sensitives. The sensitives, That's yes. So much worse. There was a there was a reference in a book um that he lay uh in a naked lunch. There's a, mm-hmm. a reference to the senders, which are kind of the same type of people, mm-hmm. which he would later, years later, end up oh, shit. adapting there himself. Was, no, oh, Naked Lunch. Naked, yeah. Lunch, naked yeah. Lunch. He would adapt Naked Lunch later, but in that book, there was a reference to senders. Okay. Yeah. There was a movie senders. called The Sender at one point. Now I'm thinking about all these movies around this era, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Patrick, you know, where I, they could. Dude, that's been on my freak show list for so long. Yeah. <laughs> it's, Patrick. it's a psychic boy movie. So it's like, yeah. it's like Carrie, but with a boy. Yep. But they can, Name Patrick. You made that point. You're like, it's a, it's a it's psychic like boy movie. Psychic boy. <laughs> how many do you know? Like, how many psychic boy movies do you know? They're okay. all psychic girl movies. Okay. That's true. It, yeah, always. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what it's the one. It's it's the Friday Thirteenth Part Two of psychic yeah. movies. Okay. And right. it's like Australian or something, right? Yeah. And there's a remake. Okay, that's in the weeds. Um, so, how do you think they pulled off the infamous 
head exploding scene. Mm. Yeah, because that's I, I, the poster. I, yeah. Well, the poster shows it's Michael Mike Ironside, yeah. but at the, the end of this movie. But yeah. it, the poster had like a great, you know, like at ten seconds you feel the pressure. At twenty seconds, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. at thirty there are 4 seconds, billion your people head in the world. Two hundred and forty seven of them are scanners. <laughs> oh. You, yeah, that's one of the things. Oh, okay. That's yeah. the above the thing, and that's like, not that many. I'm seconds. not worried. Right? Well, I know. yeah, that's really but not they're that very many. powerful. They can make your head explode. I feel they like can. we could get them to all turn on each other pretty easily. I mean, that's yeah. when we kind of get. And, into yeah. and yeah. according to this movie, most of them live in close proximity. To yeah, each other. exactly. Yeah, yeah. If there's only 247, a lot of them live in this one area. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's interesting to look back on something like this, having lived through X Men movies. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Where it's like in the it's like in the entire world, like scanners just fill up New Milford. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple yeah. of houses with scanners, yeah. and like that's it. You don't really. My have to graduating worry about class them. was bigger than that. You know? <laughs> Do they, they were all scanners. Yeah. Do they kind of address that like later in the movie? Like the idea that scanners are created by like this pharmaceutical thing, right? Like right, right, was right. it only localized to this area? It, well, Maybe. I think it came from that doctor and it's spread out from that's why there's so little of them, because it's spread out sense. from that little area. Ooh. So there are that many and mm-hmm. that's and, it's like know. when um when like a fertility doctor puts his own sperm in there. Yeah, that that's guy. what happened. Some that doctor doc- did that, that with the scanners and so there yeah, so yes. all his two hundred and thirty five children <laughs> are within ours, a certain yes. area. Yeah. Did you oh, look, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm curious of you know, it's like what inspires, you know, these stories, but mm-hmm. I remember there were news stories about like, you know, medical new drugs that created side effects and like mm-hmm. sure, birth like effects f- and stuff like that. babies. Was that what like it? That. Okay. That, that, something like that. Yeah. That and that was it, like yeah. in the yes. zeitgeist in the late right, 70s. Right. Because they gave, and, that to, they gave that to women to fend off morning sickness and they found out it caused a, a deformations in, in oh babies. And no, yeah, okay. that's why thalidomide Jesus. babies is was a thing back in the That's day. So, fucked so up. maybe yeah. Firestarter really? and Scanners think, are both yeah, from that. Yeah, kind of come from that yeah. kind of era and mm-hmm. that, you know, uh, what was going on <laughs> in, you know, in the news at that point. And you were asking how they pulled off the yeah. head exploding? Yeah, how did you, did you pull off the head exploding? Dick Smith, uh, Dick Smith the legendary the Dick yes. Smith. Love it. Was the, he was a consultant, he, right? I so, mean, yeah, consultant, but he had a big hand in creating the major effects it's a great i mean is it you know, just like a balloon filled with meat or something it looks like why i'm asking yeah like, what do you think meat balloon yeah i would think it's some sort of um some sort of like air compressor that okay that it's maybe a balloon or maybe We've got just, air compressor yeah mm-hmm. i think there's an air compressor involved okay and you yeah. think balloon. Me, you meat think meat balloon, balloon. Meat balloon. <laughs> yeah. Team meat so balloon. not like an explosion or something i don't know if they were pulling it or blowing in our air compressor what, at the same time i think it's from underneath i think it's an air yeah. compressor it, inside it like the like, shell of the 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 body and yeah. just his head i mean it flops out all of it i mean they it's tried great it they tried many things that okay. didn't quite live up to what they wanted so eventually the special effects guy, not Dick Smith, but one of the special effects guys was like, roll the cameras, leave the room. And then he shot the back of this dude's head off with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> that is a shotgun blast to a dummy filled with bits and goo. Gotcha. Oh. That's awesome. So there you go. That yeah. sounds super dangerous. He's like, fuck it. We're not getting awesome. what we want. Everyone leave, yeah. everyone, leave yep. the room. Let the cameras roll. I'm going to blow this dude's head yeah. off. Do you think he said, Genius. I can get it in one shot? <laughs> yeah. Do you think he said that? He's, he's like, I can and name he's like, that tune in one note. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Just you wait. Yeah. It's so shocking. I mean, it is like it's one a- of the greatest moments mm-hmm. in movie history. Yeah. And I suppose once you have that, it really doesn't matter about the movie around it. People are going to see it. You right? would, yeah, you or, would hope there's a little more substance to it, but yeah, once yeah. you have that, that's like a this lot. dude's head explodes. I mean, what, Maniac had blown mm-hmm. someone's head off yeah, yeah. That one's the really, year that's before this. watermelon in that movie, I think. Uh, yeah. Right. yeah. Was it? it I, think I don't so. know. Tom Savini mm-hmm. uh, head exploding? That one was pretty good too, but I think mm-hmm. this one is better. Yeah. This one, look, uh, like, I've seen, uh, like, I've seen some shit. I've seen a, a, a head get blown up from a shotgun blast. Mm-hmm. It's pretty com- comparable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's amazing. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. and that and that reveals, I guess, that there are scanners, and then this uh, group uh, arrests the guy. Uh, you know, yeah, and- they arrest Michael Ironside. They uh, try and uh, give him some drugs to calm him down. That doesn't work. He's got yeah, because now he can. You know, I mean, he's doing his scanner thing. He can yeah. take over people's minds like Professor X and yep. get them to <laughs> crash their cars and b- burn them up and right? shoot other people to get away. 
inject yeah. their own hands. So who is who is this guy? And, and Michael Ironside, obviously, do we need to like? Michael, I mean, he's, he's Michael Ironside. Yeah, he's I mean, been total the for recall. A while now. Yeah. He's, uh, may he live in infamy, and may you all know Michael Ironside. If you don't, mm-hmm. yeah, how dare you? You've um, definitely seen his face. You just probably don't realize it, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's always oh that. Guy. What's his mm-hmm. most famous movie? I mean, is it this? Everybody knows him from the poster scanner. That had to be great for yeah. yeah. his so, career, right? But he's done so much. Like, uh, let us all not forget the um, the veiny sex horse from uh, the one. Uh, was it prom night two? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, which he is also <laughs> in. Yeah, he's also yes. in that. But, yeah. but again, we, <laughs> <laughs> you all know what I mean when I say I veiny do. sex yes, horse. Yes, that scene. <laughs> yep, oh, can't forget that. He's also. He, I mean, he's in that Starship Troopers. He plays <laughs> mm-hmm. a pretty significant and memorable role. Yeah, there's two Paul Verhoeven movies, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, Total yeah. Recall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, Total um, Recall. Like, God bless Michael Irons. He's yeah, at conventions a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Bless him. Well, V. V, the final battle. Yeah, everything comes like back big to deal V. When I was kid. Who, Colin. He was Who Ham Tyler. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he was great, list. though. Yeah. Shorter list at this point. Shorter time. list at this point. Who was And uh, he was over Dog McNabb in Space Hunter Adventures <laughs> in the Forbidden Zone in 3D. Oh, Everyone sure. remembers that one. <laughs> sure. Right? With Molly Ringwald's sure. first movie? Okay. So, um, anyway, yeah, he's still out there. I think yeah. still making movies. He did Turbo Kid not too long oh, ago. Is he ever, Turbo Kid? Has Turbo he ever been kid. in a Rob Zombie movie? It feels like Rob Zombie would want him to be mm, in one of his movies. Right? Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I don't think he's, how, I don't know how old he is now. He's I think he'll get, get there. Yeah. Where Rob Zombie's like, I need to be but has, or no, has Quentin Tarantino collected him for a movie? I don't feels think like he so, would not yet. Point. But yeah. he has a, only got one more movie to go. He's got a, a, a presence and a voice. And oh, he was yeah, uh, Sam Fisher in uh, uh, the uh, Splinter Cell video game series that uh, oh, was he? Tom Clancy's. Yeah, we're we're t- this is tip of the iceberg, Michael. I know. Yeah, he's like he's so been much. so much more. But this, I think, was his first like launching. I mean, like I said, to be on the poster had to like do great things for yes. this guy's mm-hmm. career. So he was in that BlackBerry movie was he yeah. oh, shit. that, see, <laughs> good, that looked good because that also has what's his name from uh Glenn Howerton. Glenn Howerton. Glenn Howerton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah see yeah. i want to watch that dude's still working like crazy good good, good may him. he work for nobody which is no- oh, oh yeah with, uh, yeah. with, uh, yeah. with um, uh, uh, bob odenkirk yeah, bob. Ah. yeah. Oh, I saw that. Is that just two old guys beating the shit out of each other? He's one of the old guys at the end of the. He <laughs> oh, sh- all right. I might have to watch nobody yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what's his name in this? Derek. Daryl. Daryl Revick. Daryl Revick. That's Darryl. a great name. Revick. 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 It's it just it's a sounds, great name to shout. Revick. It's a bad name. name. <laughs> yep. Um, and so he is the leader of the evil scanners, right? <laughs> Yes, he is evil scanners. Okay, what's the evil scanners motivation? What are they trying to do? What, I mean, what they, they eventually want? want to take over the world, as any organization would want to. Yep, destroy the society that created them and uh, usher in a utopia of supermen. Yeah, this basically. is Magneto. Yeah, basically. I okay. was actually this at this part in the movie, like late in the first act, start of the second, when there's hunting of other scanners, mm-hmm. reminded me a lot of Looper. I thought I thought this Looper took a lot of things from this movie actually like oh, the showdown yeah. in the farmhouse yeah. hunting hunting kids with telepathic powers to yeah. take over the world yeah. I was like there was some visual language when the when the scanners with the lady scanner were coming up to the farmhouse oh, yeah. carrying ah, their guns yeah. I was like wow where yeah, Ryan yeah. Johnson really mm-hmm. likes this movie yeah. mm-hmm. lady scanners mm-hmm. <laughs> lady scanners <laughs> the spin-off. unmade sequel that uh, <laughs> copyright baby 2024 scanner. baby scanner scanner baby scanner baby, <laughs> scanner baby. <laughs> um, we, which is scanner. funny enough because we did get sequels to this and spinoffs mm-hmm. we have scanners 2 and scanners 3 but we also get scanner cop and scanner cop 2 yeah yeah which might be more interesting to bring to the have, freak have show you seen any of those no but i want to watch scanner cop I just because seen. it's like they had two movies and they did uh, uh, a spinoff called scanner cop i'm like mm-hmm. all right this is where yeah. we should go yeah. like an everyday cop trying to bust criminals <laughs> and, and uh, abide by the law is but it he's treat also williams a fucking scanner. i want it to be treat it's williams it's not but i don't, it I don't think it has that much of a budget no, i think no, they're no, pretty no. low yeah, budget definitely movies not the high, yeah. but they are all canadian yeah so. i remember i was working at the video store when scanners two and three i'm like it was years it was the 90s yeah. I think, 10 years later 91 mm-hmm. and i think 93 or 94 yeah. were those and then after that direct was video cop. yeah i think so yeah. wow scanner cop was 94 i didn't realize yeah, yeah. it was that i thought yeah. it was way later than that oh this, yeah that's, this that's like getting that's like this, yeah like, that's like getting dark man yeah. sequels it's yes. just like it's not good so mm-hmm. I, maybe scanner cop's not good i don't mm. know but i haven't seen it but i'm intrigued wait for it to appear on the saturday <laughs> night free show podcast. we're gonna wait a little while but scanner cop might show up well if he's the leader of the evil scanner 
scanners. That yes. means there has to be good guy scanners. And who do we have there? What's the alliance of the forces of good? We have Dr. Ruth at... Um, what? <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Dr. Ruth. Not that Dr. Ruth. Yeah. This Dr. Ruth. Um, who is played by... Oh, it's Patrick McGowan. There we go. Uh, <laughs> who I was saying, like, when we first went into it, I saw his name, and I'm like, oh, yeah, he's the, the guy from The Prisoner TV show. Oh, is he Where from they the were prisoner? stuck on the island, uh, that sci-fi 60s yeah, show. Like the old one, the first one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think he co-created and starred in it. Oh, interesting. And that became, like, a cult phenomenon. Yeah, it did, yeah. They remade it years later. Yep. Was Jim Caviezel? The- I think, yes, okay. yeah. Yeah, in the remake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but while I was watching the movie, he said something, and I'm like, I hear that voice. I'm like, he's the fucking king in uh, in Braveheart. Mm-hmm. It was uh, the long, Edward the Longshade. Or Holly right? can, somebody yeah. can yeah. yeah, he so, is indeed from Braveheart. <laughs> he's been around for a while. He has a great presence. I like this actor. He's like, a, yeah, he came off as a very good actor. But it could have yes. been because he was paired with Stephen Lack. Is that uh, the, the? Yeah, that is. Yeah. What yeah. do we think? Who comes of this off guy? very robotic. I don't know if that's purposeful for this, but it. Uh, oof. He should he should have never been let out of soap opera television because that's the level that he's he at. Was? Like I don't know, that's the, the energy he gives me. Like that's the height of his ability is it, soap opera yeah, acting. This not, guy is. I think I want a little more from this. I part. want a lot more. Why does it feel like he's reading off cue cards? It, it does. It just, yeah, it really does. Like, yeah, I don't know what he did before or after, but he uh, did. I looked him up because I was like, this guy couldn't have had like a lot of. Like he could have gone far. He right? had at least two credits and won two Gemini awards or something like. I don't know what that is, right. but uh, does, he won awards like, for his screen performance. I don't know if they were going for this, but it does feel like because of uh, what they give him later on as an explanation of what his life has been up to this point. Yeah. It's just like you were you were released at a certain point. It's almost like he's a newborn. Yeah. yeah. Based on uh, so what the they fact say. That he's so stiff you think is a choice? <sighs> I mean I don't know that it's not. Well I would I would say that it's probably he is what David Cronenberg wanted. Yeah. You know, he cast him because of yeah. a quality that made you know, he has that yeah. kind of wild or wide eyed you know, um, I don't know. He seems like a, a little bit simple yeah. Uh, yeah. in a lot of scenes, yeah, but, but, but it's not what the character is doing, if that makes any yeah, sense. It's very, like you said, it's very like newborn, very robotic, but yeah. it doesn't align with what's happening. No, he seems like just. No, not for what he's sent out to do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he should be a little more uh, spy like, a little more infiltrative. He should be a little more smooth if he's trying to get into this group yeah. and be part of them. He shouldn't. Come across and be like, I am, I am me, and I need to know who your leader is. Yeah. Like he does very, well, come across alien. very mm-hmm. alien, yeah, yeah very yes. alien and robotic, yeah. which maybe not so much. Mm-hmm. Like at a certain yeah. point, he I should wanna, be. Little, I want him to have more intention. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Because uh, yeah. that's where that's where I think maybe there's a failing to the movie. I get like you know we see him um, scanning this lady. He's like a, a bum in the yes. beginning yeah. of the movie, and he's scanning this lady at Seen like a hot a, dog. She's looking down at him because it ain't his hot dog. So he, yeah, this like, man makes his way through a very futuristic looking. Isn't it? It's not a McDonald's. It's, but no, it's, it's a restaurant. A, it's that is just a food court. I, I think it's yeah. a food court. Yeah. What, what, pogo dog. Was that? Pogo dog. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Hot pogo dog, yeah. <laughs> whatever it was. But he, yeah, he is. Just, he's stealing fries, cigarettes off people's pl- in, in right in front of them at yeah. this point. Yeah, he's you know he's kind of smooth. But then he does end up scanning a lady and causing yeah. her like cardiac arrest, a seizure or something. Yeah, yeah. The scanning she's, is. She's very uppity considering the environment. The environment that she's in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, she's, she's like you're in a you're in a mall food joint. court. You about? Right. You're in a mall food court. There was nothing upscale about that. <laughs> no, it may look at com- uh, from what we're looking at now. Yeah, yeah. But- back in 1981, it was probably like brand new. You know, right. like yeah, this yeah. is the height of you know. <laughs> I do miss buildings with personality like this. Sure. What's he doing here? Mm-hmm. Clutch my pearls. So, uh, scanning, as I understand it, by uh, they were given uh, in the movie, is uh, your nervous system. Yes. Uh, it, it, telep- telepathically, you link your nervous system with another human being. Right. So you basically become them. You feel everything, with it, and you can influence their yes thoughts and actions and all this other and stuff. their body. Um, so this guy is recruited by the doctor, Dr. Uh, Dr. Paul Ruth. Yes. Okay. Played by Patrick McGowan. Yep. And so what is the doctor's, uh, what, okay. So what's the doctor's motivation? The doc, the doctor knows about, um, Rivik, right? 
Yes. But so yeah. he is trying to find. He works, I mean, he works for Setcon. He does. Is it Setcon? Consec. 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 Yes. Yep. I was going to say, Sec-con, I forgot the name. Setcon, Consec. <laughs> yeah. It's all gibberish at this point. It's Fake all corporations. Tech name, yeah. yeah. He, so he works for Consec, and they're developing a weapons program, which they want to use scanners as weapons for infiltration. And, you know, you could. The, the potential for them, if you can control them, is pretty much limitless. Yeah. What you can do with them. Yeah. So they're trying to recruit them into this program. They're finding out that. There is someone else on the, say, the opposing side who is also trying to recruit them for their own purposes, which ends up being Michael Ironside. Yeah. So Revic is basically going around to all the other uh, scanners and go yes. like, no, you shouldn't work with the normies. You yeah. got to come and no, you know, we be can on rule the, home the world. Team. Why would you yeah. work for them when yeah. you can rule them? So, um, okay. So, uh, but uh, he kind of kind of finds this one who's been, I mean, it's, revealed later other information but kind of finds this one who's uh, uh hasn't been approached yet yeah there's some who are this is cameron vale yeah there are free agents name. free agent scanners out there yeah. who have not been uh drafted to either side so he's going to take it so basically this becomes like a it's like a, a, a an assassin movie right or yeah, like kinda. an undercover you're gonna basically go because you have the ability that they have, you're going to go into the underground and find the head so you can take out the head of the snake. Mm-hmm. Right? Almost, almost, when you say the head, it's almost literal at yeah. certain points. Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> There's a giant artist head. <laughs> that guy lives inside his head. I, Literally. There's so much. There's mm-hmm. so much in that yeah. scene about I that dude being in his head. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Great. Love I it. Love, it. love, love, love it. the levels of that scene. It's like, come sit inside my head. Mm-hmm. My big giant. Uh, plaster head mm-hmm. yep. uh, where I have a, a sofa. You yeah. Know? Yeah. It's like a living room. Uh, here's the nerves <laughs> running around. Yeah. yeah. Um, he literally hides in there. It's great. Okay, he so hides in his head. this is where I'm saying there might be a failing in the movie or the character, right? Um, so Cameron Vale, right, is basically... What's hit? Why? Because he uh, like goes into situations where he has to lie about, you know, you know, I'm looking to buy this piece for my, you know, my uh, for my apartment, apartment in France. Paris. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. um, so he adopts to the kind of covert undercover uh, lifestyle like fairly quickly. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, but what is his stake in it? What? Why is he doing this? Right. That's a great question because I don't know. Yeah. I think it's it, <laughs> well because it's again if we go with the newborn thing, it feels like. The first information that he is being fed is the information he's going to go with until he learns more. So, so is he literally just in the who am I phase? Basically. And they say I, that, right? Because I, he, he has had unfiltered, uh, he hears everybody's thoughts, so yeah, he hasn't yeah. had enough time for his own personality yes, right. to develop. For him to be him. And so the doctor has- I think he's taking advantage of that early on. Yes. Yes. The doctor has a uh, medicine that if he gives it to him, it quiets all this, and so he can hear his own thoughts for the first time, and then yes. he's like, look, I can help you. I have this uh, ephemeral. Yes. A great. I love- I said this on existence. I love David Cronenberg's like tech jargon yeah. Know, crap. Yeah, yes. Uh, what was the name of the company that made it? Oh, something amalgamite. Yeah, uh, um, uh, botan- uh, biological de- bio, bio bio something yeah, amalgamite. amalgamite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I can't Way better than now, nerd but... from Spice. Yeah. 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 We're gonna name it nerd like and our child Dren. <laughs> um, fuck Splice. So, uh. So, so the doctor uses that it's like he's helped him, right? Right. And, and he's like, like, he doesn't know anything at this point. So the doctor's bring his influence in. He's like, I can help you, and we are the good side, but Michael Ironside is the bad side, and so because they want to take over the world. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it can't be controlled. We can't just let this like new species of people run around. This is totally the X Men. It is. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah it is. So, it yeah. really is. <laughs> so I mean, that may just be us, like, because you can associate so much stuff with the X-Men and their stories. But X-Men existed at this point in time. Right. Well, well, you wonder what pulls from that and what they pull from Mm X-Men and everything. But yes. It's X-Men if you take away any emotional stakes whatsoever. Because X-Men is all dependent on the interpersonal relationships between all the X-Men, right? That's so you put one of them at risk and then they all have to they all have investment right, in that character. Yeah. So like and like the relationship between Professor X and Magneto and yeah, all that's like, yeah, they, yeah, in the specifics yeah, and everything. This yes, movie yeah. just takes all that out. <laughs> yes. not a, not, no emotional baggage in this movie. Yeah. I see what they're trying to do. Mm-hmm. I don't think they pulled it off, but they're trying to basically give well, I, they're making Dr. Ruth like the surrogate father. Right. So yes. that's gonna be your emotional mm-hmm. stake is, you know. 
then you find out that eventually it's like, well, your father didn't tell you the entire truth. <laughs> they never do. You know, um, biocarbon amalgamate. The, right, right. There we go. Biocarbon, biocarbon amalgamate. amalgamate. That's a great yeah. name. <laughs> um, like cortical systems. Mm-hmm. I still remember that one from. Oh yeah, cortical systems. I love antenna cortical research. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> antenna so, research. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, the other yeah, one. No, no, I agree. Yeah. I'm just like mm-hmm. your name. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, he has sent uh, uh, Cameron is sent out as an undercover secret agent yep. to just to go into untold danger for motives that are you know I guess his uh, to go and find this scanner group. So where did how does he track them down? What to is get the, close to Revic? Where's the first place he goes? Because he get cause, well first of all there's a, a very slight training scene in which mm-hmm. they're like here's a yoga master stop his heart. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this seems dangerous. Yeah, because yeah. The, and oh, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I mean, they the way they set it up is the yoga master can control his bodily functions right. in a way that like science says you can't. Right. But he can slow his heart. So I want you. Right. It is. To this sl- is make the his guy heart go fast. Who everyone. Um. Every like. You meet the spy who's the best spy ever in every movie, mm-hmm. and he's like, he studied with this guy mm-hmm. and this guy to learn how to slow his heart down. Yeah. Yeah. You would think he was dead. He's like, this is the guy that those spies have trained with yeah, 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 to yeah, learn yeah, all yeah, this yeah. shit. Yeah. So he's supposed to be like the top <laughs> yogi uh, to be like, he can slow down his heart. He can pretend he's dead. He can control all of his body. I, I, Fuck like, him up. I can't even imagine getting anywhere near being able to do that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like right. the idea who, who of being the, relaxed the, the enough. The quietness of mind and the concentration. Yeah, fucking never. <laughs> Fuck yeah, guy. never. I'm sorry. I could never what? get my yeah, mind to shut up enough. There's nothing happening yeah. in, in his life. Exactly. That he has, he has to push He has no aside. anxiety. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to gain control of your involuntary systems. Yeah, but there's. that's why we're not Navy SEALs, huh? They have a lot of stress. Just saying. Maybe. Well, um, again, this scene fraught with danger. The idea, I think, is that the fail safe is that because this guy can control his own uh, biorhythms, that yep. if you control his heart and his heart gets too fast, he will push back yeah. and take control of it. Mm-hmm. This, you know, you're like, and so more face acting is uh, required <laughs> here. <so we're>, <laughs> Everyone's got a shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, they're, they're, no, they're shitting or coming. That's, <laughs> yeah. And uh, sorry to put it to that, but yeah, if, if that's the faces they make in this movie and i think the so there was a, a second fa- uh, fail safe which was uh he can administer the ephemeral and uh yeah. that'll that'll immediately stop mm-hmm. the uh the psychic link mm-hmm. yep um so yeah it's but it's like, the one it's just the one session it's like we're gonna train you to be an assassin so you can go out and kill yeah. michael yeah. it's like la femme nikita they, right. only but they give him this just one this thing. one moment and they're just like mm-hmm. you're ready he's like you're right that was easy yeah uh, i was kind right. of hoping they would have a like a scanner's prison that were that shuts off their abilities or something like yeah. like the plastic mm-hmm. prison and yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, i was yeah. hoping right. for we something we want x-men you put them in the faraday cage or something and you can't yeah maybe in the sequels yeah sure yeah well yeah who knows what what like whatever the equivalent of a padded room is for a scanner you know right. put them in or that. they have that they yeah. have that that necklace that yeah it's like this dampens your ability yes. yeah <laughs> sequels yeah i'm sure sequels. it had to be Make there them. i love a sequel <laughs> by the time they got to scanners new world order or oh, whatever the, oh no we know yeah. what to do now the yeah. takeover <laughs> yeah um so anyway he tracks his way through the um the underground right he ends yeah, up he goes uh, to an art show because he's looking, all right, he's looking, he's trying to find his way to Michael Ironside, so he's got to find his associates. And yeah. one of the associates they track down is, is an artist who is a scanner or has associations with Michael Ironside. Oh, wait he's, a second. He's kind of like, oh. Yep, we're inducting oh, no. uh, someone to the Saturday Night oh. Freak Show the artist? Wall of Fame. This is artist. He is played oh. by actor Robert Silverman. Okay, he was in the um, And we have also seen him in Existence. He was Darcy Nader. Darcy oh, I think Nader. that was one of the NPCs, what, wasn't he was, it? He was. Yeah. He? Okay. Who okay. just yeah. kept on a loop yeah. until... Oh, was he one of the... Okay. All yeah. right. Yep. I got you. Uh, he may have worked in the... The, the shop? The, the, what was it? The fish? The there was a fish Chinese monger. restaurant? Oh, yeah. No, okay. No, uh, <laughs> uh, there, uh, there was a lot of gross <laughs> shit yeah. in that movie. Mm-hmm. He was also a hydraulic in Waterworld. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Wow. So it's going to be that movie that ties everything together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome, Robert. Everyone was in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. To the Saturday Night Free Show. Bravo, bravo, sir. Um, 
My feels like he's been in a lot of uh, characters in this movie. In this movie, the <laughs> artist who lives oh, yeah. inside his head. He's a good. I like him. I love this. Character. I like him. I like his scenes. I like what he does. I he don't is... blame his lifestyle either. No, no. Like, he says a lot of things that all like, anxious people Everything are thinking. Everything he says, yeah. I'm like, this man makes sense to yeah. me. What does he say? I have a lot of friends. I don't like them. I don't want them. But I don't, I don't want, want them. them yeah. But I have them. Yeah. 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 I know people. But even just the, more. But even his setup of like, I don't sell art directly to everyone. Talk to my art dealer. Yes. Love that. Being like, I make stuff. Someone sells it for me. No people interaction. Like yeah. <laughs> his art I keeps him sane. Him. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And it's got a dope studio. He's like, so yeah, cool. it's big. It's big enough it's to fit big. this it's a giant big head. Barn. Literally. <laughs> yeah. It's like what, a 30 foot head that they go like, massive. That's out of plaster, just laying on its side. And then he just has a couch. He walks in inside awesome. of it and there's a couch in there. Yes, it's wonderful. That's, wouldn't you like to just go inside your own head and take a seat? <laughs> no. Not in mine. I don't. No? Scared? Scared? Not in mine. Right. Not I, I work hard to shut off. <laughs> like, I live in yeah. there. I know yeah. what's in there. I don't yeah. want to go in. Yeah. Well, uh, his appearance in the movie is short lived because, and he's like on a line. Is that what we're saying? He's not on good team, bad team. He's like, I'm staying out of it. I just he just art. wants to yeah. make art. Right. Yeah. He figured out a way to focus his energies where he doesn't have to be part of anything. Right. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't so, do that anymore. We all want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That means he gets blown away. There's a bunch of assassins in this movie that yep. show up. They one of the great ones. All those, the shotguns. Yeah. All when they all the shotguns God point outside them. the van as they're driving next to the the the, the, the what was it the the oh, Oh yeah, later on, later on, later like on, like the yeah, the yeah, the, the, f- the slatted windows of the yeah. flip open mm-hmm. and shotguns, five shotguns. Yes, no. these shotgun great. guys come in there and they blast the artist away, and then so many people are the getting blown away. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But our hero is able to psychic blast them back because now he's like he, the the hero uh, guy Cameron Vale is told to us that by the doctor that he's a special scanner, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. We don't really know. Why? This is, of course, setting up that somehow he's going to be like a super powerful. He's the most powerful scanner. Is mm. that what we get out of this? Uh, the, yeah, he's like the chosen one. Right. Yeah, he's Neo. Yeah. As, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, he is. But he also doesn't. He kind of acts selfishly. So you know, it's like he's he's the chosen one, but he's not necessarily on like a hero's journey. If that makes sense. He, he's the most powerful, but he's not right because you know. he's doing somebody else's. I guess yeah. is it like a process. Right. Of, well, he, he does. He's not doing his own bit. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. But he does have the. Um, I guess part of the hero's journey, the uh, 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 of self discovery, mm-hmm. right? He is yeah. doing that. Yes, even Which, if he is as robotic as he can be. Yes. Yeah. In yeah. That. Maybe that's it. Just didn't come through for me. He's finding out. Yeah. Who he yeah. Is. I think that's part yeah. of it. One hundred percent. He's yeah. not. A, he doesn't feel like a human. Like, no. Somebody says you're not a human at some point to him, and I'm <laughs> they like. Do. What are Talking I about mean, it. That was just someone just talking on set, and they're just yeah. like, that's a good line. If, you're not even human. if he would have pulled a rubber mask off and been a robot underneath at the end of this movie, I would have been like, yeah. oh, that performance makes sense. Yeah, yeah wouldn't, right? wouldn't have questioned it at yeah. all. Well, he meets the star of the movie, according to the billing. Oh. The top billed actor is Jennifer O'Neill. Okay. Because she had been in Rio, uh, Br- uh, Rio Lobo mm. with okay. uh, John Wayne, mm-hmm. right? The last, uh, was that the last. Um, not Howard Hawks. Was it Howard, last Howard Hawks movie? Maybe. But anyway, the uh, he and uh, she was also in the Psychic, the Lucio Fulci, Fulci movie. Um, so she's the star. It teams up with him as they go through. She's like a doctor, a psychiatrist, mm-hmm. or what is her function? She basically has the. Uh, I don't know. There's just like a commune of these rebel scanners. scanners. Yeah. 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 There's always little groups and everything. You got the big. They group. like scan together. Yeah, yeah. They're like a bunch of scanner hippies. Scanner orgies. Yeah. 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 We will like, all we become will all one. feel each other's feelings. Yep. <laughs> it does feel like that. It feels like a weird sex cult. Like yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm sure they're just. Uh, I'm sure that's part of it. Yeah. Like, if you're going to explore your abilities, I'm sure it gets to that point at oh, some point. No, yeah. it start. To. Okay, w- w- did we not just talk about, like, a week or two ago that mankind's always like, can I eat it? Can I fuck it? When they discover <laughs> something new. You think the first person yeah. with psychic abilities didn't well, right. use it to mentally well, turn yeah. off? Right, if I could well, feel well, what you're on. feeling yeah. as we fuck, like, yes. that would be, yeah. Right, yeah. but the, the, there's, there's, you know... Uh, <sighs> I don't, I don't know how to say it, but it's just like courtesy. You're just like, we don't get to that point, <laughs> I think right. Like, okay, that point right off the bat. We'll get Sean, there. Sean, there's only 247 gotta, of them. Right, but you got to figure it out. If you find another out. one, you're going to just, just like, do oh, it. All right, we're the same. Like, all right, 
What, like, how do we explore the extent of our powers? Like, I, you get there. I guarantee there is one person that that, that night that yeah. me is like, all right, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say the elephant <laughs> in the room. Oh, no. Can you jerk me off with your brain? Yeah. <laughs> they just have to think yes. it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You know automatically once you connect them. loud, someone who was scanning with them was like, I yeah. see your yeah. thoughts. Like, yeah. They know what they're thinking. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just oh it's it there. there. It's yeah. definitely they there. just put it out there. I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they meet around a little magic mushroom lamp. Did you see that? that oh, was, yeah. it, was it mushroom? Yeah. Oh, it was a little mushroom in the middle <laughs> of the table. Do you have a lava lamp? Please tell it me was, that yeah, but Something it, of that sort. Mm-hmm. Do you have lava lamps on your socks right now, Colin? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> I thought so. I, I'm kind of surprised there was no line along the lines of like, well, you have no idea what levels we can exper- experience pleasure or something like that. Yeah, I thought they were going to say yeah. something yeah. Yeah. to right, that effect. That, right, but yeah. Just because it, but it's not the like the line this yeah. movie's going through. They no. don't explore it, but it's there. That's part of the come and join our team. Because you know we yeah. explore the right. boundaries. We explore yeah. each other. Yeah. You'll, yeah. you'll find De- demolition yeah. type like sex. Society, yeah. 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 society yeah. sex. <laughs> but, in yeah. but in the brain. Why uh, would you say that? So <laughs> Why would you bring that just up? To bring when that so up. many people <laughs> do not like that experience. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. Okay. Exactly. exactly. So uh, the, then the, the assassins come in. The shotguns, kapow! Everybody's dead. So I feel we're like on they the run. Stop those assassins before they. Right with the. But I yeah. know they were um, um, busy doing other things. Was there a moment? Tell me if this was actually happening. There's a lot of like uh, Michael Ironside's face superimposed over other people. It's the yeah. show that he's in charge of these people that he's controlling. Is he them? them? Yes. That is the point of that. Is that because they show him over the face of the two assassins who come and yeah. shotgun everybody. So he is controlling them to go. So he and do is that. them at the yes. moment they're doing that. Because yes. later, Jennifer O'Neill appears as uh, a guy's mother. So it's like, yes, you know. And then there was a scene where um, Cameron goes into, he gets into, uh, what was the, the biotech company? Oh, Biocarbon Amalgamate. He go. gets in there, <laughs> for you. and we see him, you know, and he's like, I, I took the place of one of his employees, and they're like, Did, was he doing that psychically, or was he oh, physically like there? was the employee still there, but he was just, like, yeah. oh, interesting. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. They we did, see but they him, didn't do but... anything to say that, so I'm going to say that he just, like, beat up a dude and took his suit. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm going with. Well, he tracks it back, ultimately, to this um, uh, pharmaceutical company. Right. Where he sees that Revic apparently is in charge of it. He is. But where did that pharmaceutical company come from, Colin? Well, how can we find this out? Because we have computers and they have, <laughs> we, uh, do. we have to, you know, a- ask for access granted to it. And we get uh, a readout that says this is part of Project um, Ripe. Ripe. I hate this name. Yeah. It's terrible. Real close it's terrible. to another word, isn't it? Yeah. Real, yeah. 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 But just, just Ripe just doesn't sit. I don't like that word. <laughs> no, it's not a it's good not a good one. word. So it's not. Well, let's put it this way: it's not used well in our society. No, let's it's put not. It that way. And our, our our hero. Well, that's why David Cronenberg. Uses <laughs> yeah, that's it, right? exactly, it's like, exactly yeah. why he used it. Um, but this is pointing our heroes back to the original company, uh, Consis. What was it? Consec. 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 Right. Consec. Yes. So there's this whole subplot involving, I guess, a major character in the movie, which is the Consec head of security. Yep. Yeah. And what's his what's his deal? What's what's he doing in this? I mean, is this like a? It's a significant part of the movie, but is Truly. it relevant to the plot? I don't know what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we did yep. lose a lot at a certain point in this movie. Um. He's just. He's like he's like the mall cop in Mall Rats. Oh no! Oh wow! Right. Okay. Like, like it's just this weird subplot that doesn't need to happen, but it's happening. Mm. I'll go with that. Anyone's I haven't seen Mallrats. Mall no, I haven't yeah, seen Mallrats in so I'm, long. No, nope. right. not since we did it here. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think we did Mallrats here, and that's the last time I've seen it. Well, he's but, like, uh, it's yeah. Just, he has, he it's has just, a, yeah, it's just the the mall cop that's hunting Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah, and it's like he, this weird subplot that doesn't need to be happening. Right, he is. Yeah. Ba- he is a cop. Like, mm-hmm. like he's yeah. yeah, working for Consec, but he but disagrees also, with the doctor. But also, who's he working for? Let's see. That's the he thing. has secret meetings in a subway uh, stop with somebody who moves their suitcase. But it's obvious. It's Revic. It's obvious. Yeah. It's Revic. So he's like inside the so he's organization. The double agent, yeah. Yep. And he spends an awful it's a lot of agent time because it, it only um, like like it's apparent pretty quick that who he's working for. Right. 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 But I, I I hesitate to say double agent because it's like I think this company is set up from the beginning just to like it works for Revic and. Um, I think only Dr. Ruth doesn't know what's going on. 
but how everyone is that else possible? seems to. There's a great scene. A great, I don't know, it stands out. It's a horrible scene okay. where all of a sudden Dr. Ruth uh, we get we get voiceover. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, he is losing his goddamn. Yeah, he mind. loses. I don't yeah. necessarily understand what's happening here. I don't well, either. Yeah, because this is what I want to nail down. What okay. is happening in this scene? Right. Because mm-hmm. you know the the heroes have approached and they're like, we know that like we the- eventually return to where we started and realize who's running the organization we started from. Well, which the is the drug e- ephemeral, which mm-hmm. is used to. Uh, you know, control scanner abilities yeah. is being distributed by Revic over yes. at the pharmaceutical company around the world. Right. Mm-hmm. And it ties somehow back to Consec. So yes. because they've come back Dr. to Consec. sold his pharmaceutical company to Consec. And con- he invented it. And confronted with this information, Dr. Ruth begins going like, oh, this is a, uh, I shouldn't have done this. This experiment should have ended in his head in voiceover. And I'm like, is somebody scanning him? What is happening? And then he yeah. walks into a room and starts talking to himself Mm -hmm. and then it gets even better because then the cop dude walks in and usually when you're talking to yourself you you stop when somebody else comes in the room he just keeps going Mm -hmm. talking to himself it's great Mm -hmm. i feel like this was supposed to be cut against some other person and they totally took it out of the movie he should be i feel like he should be having a conversation with somebody who's in his head Mm. a scanner yeah a scanner of some sort one other some other character Mm. but that other the other side of the conversation was just cut out of the movie Mm. you 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 think he's having a conversation with revik somebody i don't know who but i think revik seems to already know this information so basically what he's saying this is the big i don't know what he's doing but it feels like he's supposed to have a conversation with somebody but the other side is not in the movie what i took from it because he starts having the psychic conversation with cameron in the hallway but cameron's gone he's like he's done he's just on his own mission now but he's still having the conversation so i think the entire time is just him like losing his mind, but in his mind, he's talking to Cameron. I think so too, because That's Cameron has the him. reaction when he gets killed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll go with that because I mean, it makes the most sense and I don't necessarily have anything else yeah. to go. Against I think, it. I think he's just like in the conversation, whether Cameron's listening or not. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. So he's still talking to him, even though he's out wandering around. Correct. Yeah. Uh, and it's the big exposition dump, which is going to reveal that Dr. Ruth created uh, ephemeral, gave it to pregnant women. And so this is how scanners got started in the first place because yep. it's a side effect of the yeah. drug. They're uh-huh. mutants. <laughs> yeah, they're mutants. They're mutants. <laughs> um, comes back to X-Men. Yep. Yep. So Revic, he already knows this. Revic's like on top of everything. He's oh, already yeah. figured all this stuff out, yep. right? So That's why he runs a whole thing of... Those you know, damn firstborn, I tell you. <laughs> right, yeah, the fucking smart asses. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, does Cameron and what was it, Kim, the Jennifer O'Neill character who Kim, again, yeah, yeah. Kim Obers top build but doesn't really seem to do much in the movie? She has a scanner at some point. Lady yeah. scanner. A lady scanner. Mm-hmm. There is a scene where they still don't have this information, even though it seems like it was given to us through the doctor, right? Mm-hmm. In this in this conversation. So the doctor says, in order to access Project Ripe, you're going to have to scan the computer because a computer has a nervous system just like a person yep. and so you're going to need to scan it yeah yes. and this so is a real 11th hour oh look what we can do now like yeah. to add into this story but yeah. this kind of goes to my thought process here is that both the scenes with all the exposition dumping like and we're just gonna you know now he suddenly mm-hmm. has the ability to scan a computer are like last minute rewrites of something it that like, like it. we had to scrap a bunch of pages mm-hmm. and come up with something to shoot it tomorrow right you know? yeah. It yeah, that's like the other it. thing about this movie it was they were writing day of for so much that i don't think oh, were they, they oh yeah they started Look production on this with no script and they were writing every single day. It's kind of amazing it turned out as well as it, it I think I it know, is too. Based on what I read, it's amazing that it turned out this way because yeah. they were writing stuff the day of, figuring mm-hmm. stuff out. Mm-hmm. There was not a lot of stuff known it's impressive. before they were shooting yeah. this well, movie. Yeah, I guess it's not because the only place where it really feels like that is the Dr. Ruth monologue. Yeah, right? That yeah, feels like that we, was written this morning. Right, and what are we going like, to do? Well, yeah, what do we do with this character? Yeah. Oh, he goes nuts and gets killed I mean, by our a, head of yeah, security. There's a lot of confusion in this movie. There's a lot of confusion. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... So our uh, but, so uh, he hacked the in, computer before he went... They go to the doctor's office. They go to a... Uh, yeah, they do. 
because that's how he gets the doctor's name. We think this isn't in the movie. Uh, we're interpolating that basically he hacks the computer, mm-hmm. gets the name of a phys- uh, general practitioner physician who he was given the drug. He does this the phone booth, right? To- we're talking about? Yeah. yeah. All right, the phone booth. Where yeah. he's- this is the confrontation between... Um, um, uh, veil vale and the uh, head of security, the cop, yeah. the cop, yeah, happens right. remotely, yeah, right? Because they realize because Vale's calling in on a on a um, a payphone into, but the server is connected to the same system, so he's trying to access the same information. Uh, the cop realizes this and is like, shut him down, shut him. <laughs> shut I want to hurt down. him. I want to hurt him. How I'm can I cripple him? How do I cripple both at the same time? Yeah, their nervous systems so gotta, are connected. So we got a bunch of scientists in a room going, I don't know, we can do this. <laughs> like, I like this scene just because of the scientists back and forth talk back, and maybe also because of the reactions of the scientists when everything blows up. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, that guy <laughs> in the back, wide open, but, and just like, what's going on? But what is? How do they? What? Is, how are they going to do it? What is the the solution to this? What, uh, what self-destruct they, yeah it's like the self-destruct system yeah, but they the, do it on their computer hoping that it will also self-destruct the scanner but they have planted failed. little bombs throughout the computer circuit board mm-hmm. that are wired up right. to a button with <laughs> yes. a big red flashing thing that you yeah. have to unlock with a key yeah yeah, yeah what's yeah, not yeah. believable at this yeah, point what, yeah what, well, what's your problem <laughs> I also have my, all of my computer systems right ready to go access yeah. to Holly's big red button yeah <laughs> <laughs> not many of you do <laughs> uh, total meltdown so they trigger that at Wild Duders uh, dialing in from right. with uh, dialing in he's got a phone up to his yeah, ear literally. in a phone booth and then I like that that was a good effect the, the melting phone? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of good effects at this point. The internet's melting in real time. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Liquefied <laughs> internet. Right, this is, I'm going to show this to my kid. Like, this is what the internet will do to you. Yeah. yeah. If you it's stay dangerous. on yeah. too long. Yes. You will, was- you will melt. Computer banks will explode. Security guys will be killed yep. as they're, as every scientist is blown through a window. Yep. At this point, <laughs> all because you stayed logged on for too long. Yeah, yep. hey, yeah. This would be a great commercial. A for great that. PSA. <laughs> Twenty years yeah. ago, it seems like AOL. It, yeah, an Alamo draft house should yeah. have had yes. this up. Yeah, the- yeah, that would be it. But they all get blown through windows and everything. Everyone gets blown up. The security guy is dead. He gets blown through a thing. What's that? What's that Tesla quote? You will live to see. Man made horrors beyond your comprehension. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's, yep. this. that's this. That's it. Well. That's this. That's <laughs> well, he also starts Vail fires at, at, at gas stations and everything because yeah, yeah. he destroys but power survives lines. All this. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He survives somehow. I don't know. Doesn't make any know. sense. Feels no, like his brain should have been that the, melted. That, that everything else blows up, but not him. Yeah. Okay, like. When you plug a bunch of stuff in and your circuit breaker blows, everything, everything turns goes, off. Like, That's what should have happened to his brain. There should it should have been you know, something like, that affected mm-hmm. him yeah. at that mm-hmm. point. His but, brain should have melted out of his ears like yeah. the phone. Yeah, out of but, his nose. Yeah. But he's yes. like, nope. I'm fine. I'm yeah, super yeah, powerful. Like, I'm I'm, so, uh, I'm fucked up, but yeah. I can still go. And yeah, go on to confront the bad guy. Are you guy. picturing Jim Carrey at the end of Batman Forever? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they follow the uh, the questions. lead. Then uh, that I think the movie doesn't say it. Uh, we're just uh, you know uh, that they got a name of a, a, a doctor. They go there yeah, yeah, and yeah. find out that they're still prescribing this drug to pregnant women. Yep. And one of the Pregnant women in the mm-hmm. uh, waiting room. Scanner baby. Has a scanner baby in her tummy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she does. And he's Who's... just, this kid, future future Hitler, because he's scanning oh. people in utero. Like, yeah. making, well, making curious. strangers. He's just he like, oh, like, there's a new mind out there. Let's yeah. see what, right. you know, mm-hmm. and scans Jennifer O'Neill. She's like, there's a baby out there. Yeah. that scanned me. Um, where we, the reveal, it's like, oh, they're doing it on purpose. This is. This is what's mm-hmm. happening. The yeah. side effect of this drug is that we're creating scanner babies. And the... Uh, and she gets, like, fucking darted through a Because this, this is a plot convenience, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Well, how do we lead from here to Revic? Well, Revic shows up and darts them both. Yes. Mm-hmm. Knocks them out. And then they wake up in his uh, his pad, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Back in his office where we well, get... Camera wakes up. She's just out. Out of the movie, basically, mm-hmm. for all yeah, intents and purposes. Oh, yeah, she comes in. She's yeah, just yeah. passed out. She's in, in another room. room. Yeah. Yeah. She's fine. Yeah, as it's mentioned. And so this is the big showdown that we've been waiting for between Face acting. Cameron mm-hmm. and uh, Revic. So we learn shocking things. That they're brothers. <laughs> yeah. You're my kid brother. <laughs> Feels and like a doc- soap opera twist. Right. Yes. Like Dr. Ruth. It really does. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Ruth was our father. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if literally... 
I, I think know. he. Well, yeah, we don't know who you, the mother is. I was going to say, you tell me if it's literally. Or I not, thought so it I felt like it was literal. I think it is literal it is, because yeah, they are yeah. the most powerful ones and they it's, come from the lineage right. that would allow them to be the most powerful. Dr. So, Ruth yes. is dead at this point. I don't know if we said he's he dead. was he killed got, by the cop. Yeah, he but, killed yeah. by the cop. So, yes, that those two, Michael Ironside and Vale, come from um, Dr. Ruth or his experience or what have you. His loins, yes. Yeah, his <laughs> loins, yes. From his loins. They are the most powerful <laughs> ones and they will have the face the off. The most powerful loins? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And Someone's he basically, gonna have powerful loins, he does, Holly. He gives him the veil. You are my brother. Yes. Join me, and we will rule the galaxy <laughs> yes. together yes. as brothers. Yes, it's empire. That is it. <laughs> and Veil vale is like, no. And I, no. I guess I don't. Again, other than you know, just the movies kind of you know, it's got like mm-hmm. a morality line. It's like, no, this guy's. But I don't understand. Even in this moment, I was still going like, I don't know why. He is like, no. I mean, right, he's just yeah. like lawful good, I guess, right? right is yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I guess, uh, but it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> no. It's just because we have to have the big showdown. So Revic- I feel like at this point, you'd just be like, well, let's talk about this. <laughs> like, I need more information. You're yeah, my brother. Like, like, like what is we, this? Right. There should be more we conversation. Need family therapy. Like, right. You haven't killed me, so we should talk. Let's talk mm-hmm. about yeah. this. Yeah. But then it's like, well, you're, you're acting like them. And so now I'm just going to suck your brain dry and, and become <laughs> We're you. We're going to away. I'm going to suck your brain dry. <laughs> Actual quote. Actual quote. <laughs> yep. So he's going he's gonna to so take his a, entire personality or something. Yeah, then then the big special effects scene oh, happens. Oh, oh which is vanage, good. just the like vanage. arm veins. And, and then face veins. Face veins. Oh, like, my God. Face oh, pustules, I love this. Yeah. This was and great. Like, and then it like spurts. Yeah. Yeah, because the Painful. veins are showing up, but then it's, it's like it's too much vein and there's blood spurting and from the face. And then he's like peeling his skin off. And, yeah, yeah, and then, yeah, veils like clawing at it and you're just like oh fuck he's losing mm-hmm. like I think this is really well done at this point because it's a face off mm-hmm. between the two and it looks like Michael Ironside is winning yeah because mm-hmm. Michael other guys- Ironside does better face acting yeah yes. than Vale so oh, well, I was right. unsure of who was you right. know had but the also, upper hand right but Vale is also bleeding a lot more yeah, yeah. he's yeah. pulling away but he looks like he's lost and then his eyes yes. explode yeah. out of his, his head his eyes explode yeah. 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 oh my god but Ironside's eyes turn white his yeah turn white. but yeah. the other guy starts on fire back and forth it's just it's great chaos. But then it's it cuts chaos. away from this because I thought somebody's gonna explain another I really, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm disappointed that we cut away. Oh yeah. shit. The Fury. But, Anybody but, seen the Fury with Kirk Douglas? And no. that's another psychic and really? somebody explodes at the end of that oh. movie. Oh yeah. I, so it actually, heard about it, movie. it's a Brian De Palma yeah. movie. Um <laughs> so <All right. laughs> I might have to watch that one on this. Well, but that had a good, like, covered by three cameras guy oh, wow. exploding. That sounds at the end. amazing. Yeah, that um, sounds great. That didn't happen here. But no. um, mm-hmm. Jennifer but, O'Neill wakes up next door. Yep. And she wanders in. Bale starts on fire. Let's just say his hands start on fire and the rest of his body yeah. starts on fire. And mm-hmm. we're like, oh, shit, he's done. He lost. Yeah. Like, we think the good guy's losing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She comes in and his corpse, his yeah. burned, his charred corpse charred, is on, yeah. the, on the floor. Solid, yeah. But in the corner, hiding under a blanket, a oh, coat, tr- trench coat, mm-hmm. yes. the trench coat. That That's right, a lot of trench coats in this movie. Yeah. Yep. A lot of trench coats. Lot. Is Revic? Yep. But, but is she, it Revic? But, but we don't know that. She just says Vale or Cam or whatever she mm-hmm. calls him. She's like, huh? Is anybody here? Yeah. No, it's, she she calls him. She oh, calls she? his name. And his voice comes and out, and he's right? like, "I'm here," but mm-hmm. it's Revic's voice. Is no, it Revic? it's his, it's his voice. It's Cameron's voice in Revic's. Body. I thought it was Revic's voice. I thought it was uh, either Vail's. way. And he either has way. he has it's Vail's got, eyes. Vail's yeah. eyes. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they blew out of Vail's it's head. Like, yep. It's like we yeah. won. We won. We won. Mm-hmm. So he's in Correct. Revic's body now. I yep. guess he killed yes. Revic by in, taking in the, over in his. In the fight, he took over Revic's he said body. They became one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But Wasn't but that what Revic wanted? What was yeah, Revic but, but, to do? but Revic wanted to be the one in control, which he eventually was not at the end. Yeah. So he yeah. lost that battle That's, because we yeah. saw the 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 the, the that that was that was corpse. the battle when he said, "I'm going to suck your brain dry. We're going to become one as we should." Yep. Right, but That's, who's gonna that's what it. happens. It's just not what happened the way he wanted. Right, the right. the other person yeah. is in control, I, and it's, so it's a good in in because we don't get the um you know the final decision on screen as you wanted, mm-hmm. um but we do get a nice reveal that oh we come in there's a corpse on the floor we think he's lost but then he's won. 
Yeah. And I that get means it. that uh, yeah. he now controls. Story wise, maybe not. It. Maybe not. It's not as satisfying, Woo! but yeah. I get it. Does yeah. that mean he controls the scanner underground and will direct the path yes. of the scanners yes. toward the path the of light? Yes. Or the good side? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. There, yep. there. That's yep. uh, scanners. That's how scanners. it uh, wraps up until Scanners 2 comes around and all well, the mm-hmm. scanners, scanner soldiers running mm-hmm. amok. Mm-hmm. Oof. All the babies so are much, born. Right? There's so much to explore in the sequels. And story. the uh, remake that was never made by Darren Lynn Bozeman. Bozeman. Yep. And makes. the TV series that was also, proposed. Yep. Wasn't the last it. one, like 2022, yep. HBO Max yep. tried to make a Scanners TV? Well, what yep. would a TV so, yeah. series be about, honestly? Is there enough here for a TV series? If Stranger they can make, things, if they they can make two sequels and then two spinoffs, I think there's enough here to do it. Yeah, yeah. it'd be I, like I'm Alien just, Nation, where these people it's regular, where people just, are just uh, in society as scanners. It just doesn't feel like. Oh no, there's so much you could do. With I feel this. like episodically, though, I can't imagine every episode of a scanners TV show would be interesting. You know uh, what I'm saying? No, I think there's I feel so like, much like, here. Oh, if it's HBO Max, I mean, I feel like <laughs> I oh, f- you're getting head explosions one every three episodes. Yeah, yeah. Two episodes. I feel space it out. I feel like it would be Stranger Things meets the last of us yes yeah mm-hmm. yes like that. yeah, that's yeah. exactly yeah. yeah yeah it's probably yep. still there's, 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 there's a part. lot of possibility all right well uh we're gonna tell you whether or not you should watch scanners we're gonna go around the table and give you our individual takes on the movie but before we do that we're gonna have to summon our ma- mailman to answer some of your mail and so igor bring us the mail Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. This pen has been down here. For 30 years. For 30 yeah, I years. I don't even know if it <laughs> yes. works. How does it still have ink? Yes. Does it still? Oh, does Let's it? Oh, out. no. It works. Okay. It works. Right, right. 30 year old pen. <laughs> yep. 30 year old pen. Probably well, because forever. we only use it maybe once every other month. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> right. Mark off a movie. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> I still have one of those uh, um, one of those pens from the, you know, you remember the Saw events? Um, where oh, it was the, just like put your blood. Yeah. The, the blood donation Saw events yep. they used to have back in the no. day. For the like movie saw, seven? they no. had a, they had a couple of this. times they did uh, like blood dr- or blood donation, yeah, blood yeah, drives. They had, yeah. I, from one like the th- syringe pen, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah from yeah. like 2007. I still have that thing; it still works. Um, we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show. But if they were scanners, they'd know. That's mm-hmm. true. <laughs> Facebook.com okay, well, slash. <laughs> you didn't <laughs> finish <laughs> it, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Facebook.com we'll anyway. Sorry, free show. Uh, on uh, on X. <laughs> Sorry, I fucked everything up. Uh, at Sad Freak Show. Uh, you can email us. SaturdayFreakShowYahoo.com. Or you can follow along on threads and Instagram Colin at Saturday is not Night Freak Show. Scanner. We, but have, of we have course, figured that out. And yep. they already knew this. We didn't even have they knew. to right, they say knew. it. Um, MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, yes. uh, gave us the information about Robert Silverman's inductation. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm doing but also the Lord's work. for the hallway of fame. Oh, oh, okay, okay. We have Sonny Forbes, the actor Sonny Forbes, who was uh, the killer in the attic uh, in Scanners. Oh, the killer in the attic. Uh, he okay. was also in Shivers as okay. the garbage room man. Sure, sure, sure. And he was in Sean's favorite. Kathy's cursed as <laughs> La Inspecteur. Oh, because he was also bitch. Canadian. Because I think mean, it's a was, Canadian yeah, movie yeah, as Canadian. well. Yep. Mother's a bitch. Your mother's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you um, said that while watching this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's we a did. great. May great it live line. forever. Yeah. How is that not a gift going around the internet? Kind of. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a very so, small group. Yeah. Well, Only part of that movie I remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The snakes. You remember yeah, all no. the snakes? Yeah. Snakes in a drawer. The old guy's got snakes. He was just dangling them around. Yeah. The little girl's got shit on her face. Who looks diseased. Yeah, there's the a doll in the attic or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. I got oh, that guy slipped in mud running in that scene and looked like he See, hurt I himself. That. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, was so bad. That movie was so bad. I remember your impression. mother was a bitch. That's all I got. Yeah. That's yeah. all I got. <laughs> uh, about tonight's movie, Scanners, Michael Whitaker writes in and says, Oh, man, this movie I remember seeing in the video store when I was a kid. I remember being intrigued by the plot because it involved essentially superpowers. And as a young kid who liked comics, I was desperate for anything remotely superhero Thanks. adjacent. Yep. Also fairly sure I got this in Trancers confused a lot. Mm. Both franchises seemingly had multiple sequels that would litter the shelves. That's true. Yeah. What was Trancers about? That was uh, like a Terminator kind of ripoff where, well, uh, 
you could send yourself back in time and occupy a person in the past. Ooh, so oh, Jack, cool. to cop Jack Death, Tim Thomason, <laughs> has to go. Helen Hunt is in that movie. Ooh, oh, wow. has right. to go back. Right. It's a Charles Putting it on the list. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually surprised you haven't seen Transfers. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, it's been a thing that he's just like, oh, I know Transfers. But and then I've there's sequels to that. You know, multi- many years later. Yeah. Ooh, all right. On the list. Uh, Nelson Nascimento says... Uh, Oh, David Cronenberg. Even here, <laughs> he was already dabbling in the line with man, becoming one with machine. Yep. To yeah. this day, it's probably top three Cronenberg to yep. me. Two years later, yeah. he would make Videodrome, and we'd have mm-hmm. that whole mix of everything. The new flesh. Mm-hmm. Yep. The new flesh. Uh, Travis Legler says, this is another one of those movies that we all know that classic scene, even yep. if you've never seen the movie all the way through. It took me a while to really watch this. Oddly enough, it was after Michaela got me on the Phantasm series. A friend said I had to watch this movie. Needless to say, you should always remember the Cronenberg experience. It's a great pick. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, last week, we watched a movie called The Devil Rides Out. Pat Hatfield says, I love this movie. It was great to see Sir Christopher Lee in a rare good guy part, and I wish Hammer made more of these non-Dracula vampire Frankenstein movies. In my opinion, giant spiders have no place in a movie about the occult, and the big guy with the bulging eyes was rather ridiculous. But other than that, this movie, at least to me, is a winner. Yeah. yeah. Is so a gi- like- giant spider in that movie? Yeah, yeah. They sort, sort, of, sort of from sort like of. the inside <laughs> oh, yeah. of. A, oh, I love a sort of. It's, it's a holographic. <laughs> yeah, it's an effect oh. that didn't work I, the way I'm they intended to. I'm still waiting for someone to write in and let us know what the uh, third installment of the Christopher right the Christopher Tri- Lee Devil trifecta. Yeah, yeah. we got to find oh, the third right. one. Yeah. We got to find it. Yeah. Uh, the week before that, we watched a movie called Splice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, G Money. Uh, writes in and said, I would describe this similarly to how John Landis described Shape of Water to me. It's like Creature from the Black Lagoon, but she fucks him. (laughs) Or Frankenstein in this case. This is in the genre of movies like Teeth, Feast, where you wouldn't recommend it to just anybody. Yep. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I've been wanting to bring teeth to the freak show for a long time. I w- yeah, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. <laughs> it's, a, um, it's an experience. And Jerry Fruhold says, I really Fruhold. like Graveyard Rats, the uh, episode that um, Vincenzo Natale directed for Cabinet of Curiosities. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, he says, I think it was my favorite episode. Cube, which Vincenzo mm-hmm. Natale did uh, pre- prior to Splice, was a fun movie night with friends and the devil's lettuce way back then. Yeah. Splice was cool, too, <laughs> but maybe not one to recommend. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's, we love, that's it. We love the devil's lettuce. <laughs> yep. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. and, and not recommending Splice to people. Uh, <laughs> uh, three of us did, yeah, Sean. Yeah. Three of us recommended Splice. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so, uh, okay. now we're Fools. going to talk about tonight movie scanners starting with Michaela. <laughs> okay. What did you think about scanners? It's so gentle. <laughs> it was whispered I, I, I know. Like I like, oh, tonight. So we got a um, head blew up. Yeah. Michaela. I mean, there's a reason we've covered so much Cronenberg on the show because he he has a distinct style and perspective, but he does it in a different way each time. I never feel like his movies are redundant, yeah. even if they hit on some of the same themes. Um and I just I'm always down for whatever he's going to do even though it might cross the line and repel me um i appreciate that this movie doesn't get into like a really repellent territory i think it it like i think it's pretty palatable as far as cronenberg goes like if someone's going to be introduced i think this is one of the better ones to introduce them with um because it's not nearly as gross as like the fly or videodrome Mm -hmm. or existence um but it's still gross enough um and i mean it's a classic for a reason it does have some points where editing or writing or something didn't line up and it's annoying because you can see what they're trying to do Mm -hmm. and they're just barely off from nailing it and it's just like it feels like with a few tweaks it could be even better but i mean it's i think it's this and video drum are the only cronenberg movies on criterion i think well and naked lunch um but I, i i'm really curious as to what Criterion's logic was behind picking scanners <laughs> out of all the Cronenberg stuff, just yeah. because it like license became available. Yeah, I right. guess. I think but that was like, because they're like, well, everyone loves the fly. We can like, but they usually know. go for like the biggest cultural impact, sure. right? Yeah, and like, yeah. I guess if you talk about memes and reaction gifts, this does have well, a big impact Zodiac there. Criterion, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, they they did Curious Case of Benjamin yeah. Button instead. Yeah, that yeah. was, I yeah. Like was a big seller. Yeah, so. <sighs> But anyways, yeah, I would recommend it. I think it's worth a watch. Holly, what do you think? Yeah, no, I I totally agree with you. I think that the that Cronenberg has certain beats that he always hits for his movies. Um, but it's it's not like you said, it's not redundant. Like he does something new. Um, it has a different feel. Like you can tell 
the similarities with some of his other stuff, but this is a totally different movie from The Fly or Video Drone. Like it's just he he's got his his style, but his content changes enough that it doesn't feel like the same thing. Um, but I I agree with you that it there's certain holes or misfires that like I just don't mm, know certain holes yeah certain <laughs> holes um there's just certain misfires that I think had he spent more time on it I think it would have been a really cool movie overall I mean it's it's iconic and it's 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 a it's a good movie but it could have been really cool like there was so much potential for this to be like an ultimate Cronenberg movie and and not have those those missteps um but yeah, I'm still I'm still gonna I'm still gonna recommend it. It's iconic. I hadn't seen this movie in fucking forever. Like I, I saw this for the first time probably probably when I took uh film history at Rock Valley <laughs> when I was in my twenties. It's right. probably the first time I watched this That'll movie. Yep. Yeah. Um so I didn't remember a lot of it. Um it is it is a little slow and it does have some some holes that I, I wish were a little more polished. But I'm still gonna recommend it solid movie i agree with you that it's a good starter cronenberg movie mm-hmm. for sure um we're looking for polished holes i always <laughs> want if you're polished holes. Out there. i always want polished holes. polish your holes yes. and we'll be good fill them in polish them yeah that's all i want uh so yeah i'm gonna recommend it colin what you think it might be the singular singular dissenting voice oh. and tonight I, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm i like david cronenberg movies yeah Do you? don't get me wrong I have always had a problem with this movie. Um, Ooh, all right. I remember seeing it when I was a little kid, and it was on TV, and they edited the head explosion. Oh, but man. I remember, oh, like, that's it, no fun. the imagery was still strong you enough that it? you yeah. remember, you know, and then later on, you, you remember to, something happened. Yeah, yeah. And I, you know, I remember bits and pieces about the movie that it was, you know, a. Uh, uh, Pharma, uh, pharmacological disaster that created the scanners and they were, you know, veins popping out of people's head of yeah. scanner battles. That stuff was cool. Um, I, I, and then I rewatched it and I was like, and I think it, it carried over to tonight too. The lead actor is so bland. Yeah. Uh, yes. I don't yeah. really understand his motivation. That right. could be me. Uh, but, right. You know, and whether it should be that way or not. Right. Um, I, I think they are writing it toward like, well, you're blank and you know, you're yeah. doing whatever you've been told kind of, you've been programmed to be this assassin, which, you know, creates this kind of like no, who's no. right and who's wrong. It, you programmed know, to be assassin is saying a lot for what he's doing in this movie. Yeah. He, um, he doesn't even try to assassinate anybody, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. I guess he's just an no, undercover. He's a, well, he's supposed to kill Revik, I think. He's, right. Or but, get but close to him. We don't even get close to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like he's that a being very an option. I would. Right. Yeah. yeah. Find the head of the, the, the organization. Even he says that at some point. Yeah. It's like, I think they want me to kill him, but even he's not clear on yeah. what he's doing there. Um, There was. um. Eventually, there's like logic bombs where this movie just like it deteriorates. I think in those scenes with Patrick McGowan and like what is happening here, yeah. and like yeah. there wasn't more clarity on what his character should be doing. Yeah. This is why we get the his character doing whatever he's doing in the last yeah. moments of his character. It's- but the concept is cool, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And and I think we were talking about that. It's like as and you know, but now it feels like well, you know, we had X Men and that that kind of covers it. Um, I mean, I or Firestarter, mm. and Firestarter in this kind of, you know, it's like are you gonna go with a similar? If you have a person who has an ability to read minds and and uh, or you know, telekinesis, mm. I guess. Um, eventually, you know, you're either gonna be I'm hunted and I'm running, you know, the whole time, or I'm doing the hunting to try and find the other guy, right. and eventually you're gonna have like the scanner face or off. I'm ruling the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just that story didn't really jibe to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It feels like there's m- something else you could do with it, but I can't really put my finger on what it is. But what, it's like what, you could have done right with no no, with people with that ability, there's so many yeah. stories you can tell. Yeah, they did decide, and we're going to go with the scanner army thing, the secret scanner underground. It just maybe didn't appeal to me all that much. I don't know. Some this movie leaves me cold. I know that uh, Cronenberg's accused of that in in his style. He's got a very cold style. He picks a cold leading guy. Yeah, Uh, Yeah. so I don't know. I I didn't really dig scanners aside from it starts strong yeah. <laughs> that oh, yeah. with one of like i said one of the greatest uh 
shock moments <laughs> in movie history. Yeah. And I mean, to have that is an achievement that probably makes the movie worth seeing. I'm not going to recommend it to you, I think, based on the movie that's in it. But that's my personal thing. Sean, what did you think? So very interesting to hear everyone's thoughts about this because and it is and you're right in saying that one of the probably one of the greatest shock moments in cinema. It's so funny that we watch it tonight and it doesn't because we've we're so familiar with it i will mm-hmm. say yeah. meme wise and and culturally mm-hmm. wise that it it, it is it, it is here and we all know it and it, you know you get someone randomly and show them the scene you're like oh yeah i know i've seen that before like the maybe the impact is not is is dulled down because of that when you you're watch, expecting it right when yeah. you're expecting it and you watch the whole thing around it like you don't get that from it um yeah, I think ooh, it's a very interesting movie in how you look at it now and how we all feel about it, you know, in 2024. Jesus, um, haven't I haven't seen it? Um, I'm bringing it here tonight, uh, realizing that I have not seen. it. I'm very familiar with a few scenes in this, but I have not seen this movie. Um, I get the coldness. You're right about that. There is sort of a coldness to this movie, especially with the actors and kind of what's going on. Um, I still liked it. I'm still going to recommend it just based on uh, uh, story-wise, I mean, historically. Um, I enjoyed the movie, um, Just and maybe because of, um, um, uh, who's the guy who plays Dr. Ruth? Patrick McGillett. He's Patrick McGill- really strong. He's, I mean, he's go- like, I just, he's like when you get yeah. a guy who can like just talk mm-hmm. and you're just like interested in what he's going to say, mm-hmm. like he's got that scientific approach of just like, mm, yes, I understand. And um, uh, just the way he delivers his his dialogue and his scenes, like he makes me interested. Um, the lead actor, yeah, I, I wanted more from him and kind of maybe that role. Um, it's a complex movie. It's gonna make you feel some things. There's some there's some really great parts, um, really intense parts. Um, I can see it going either, either way for a lot of people. I'm gonna recommend it tonight, um, just because um, I I did enjoy it. Did have a good time with it. I like what they're talking about. Um, Doctor Ruth had a lot of, had uh, Brian Cox vibes. He did. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like uh, Brian Cox came to mind. Yeah, for that. yeah. I'm just like totally he would did. be good in that part as well. Um, there's a, there's a lot to enjoy in this. There's a lot to uh, the, um, you can understand both sides of this movie um, with people who have feelings for it. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll recommend it. I think it was uh, uh, yeah, it's a good movie. I still like it. Um, yeah, I'll recommend it. All right. Scanners. That, scanners. Scanners. Right. Cronenberg scanners. But I understand anybody who would be like, yeah, I'm a little cold by it because, you know, it could leave you that way. But there you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. Next mm-hmm. week, mm-hmm. we are going to watch a movie that's chosen by. Hi. Oh, what are we going to watch next week? Well, um, we're, in, we're in Oscar season. Oh, oh. We are oh. going to be recording during Oscar season. Or hey, doing last last weekend. Weekend. hey, last time that happened, we broke the news about the slap. Remember? We did. did we, we got a text in real time about it. Yeah, <laughs> about it. Uh, yeah I guess we did. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. We are going to watch. It wouldn't be realized till next week. Yeah. But. Yeah. But <laughs> still. Yeah. It so, yeah. Oh, are we watching an uh, Oscar so movie? We are going to watch a movie that is filled with Oscar winners and nominees. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. But it is w- a forgotten sci fi movie called Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. oh there you go. Is Danny per- Boyle Sunshine? Yeah. That's yep. right. Perfect Ooh. for Danny Chris Evans and, and, and Killian, Killian Murphy. Killian Murphy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I haven't watched this in a while. Yeah. All right. Perfect for daylight right. savings. <laughs> <laughs> With more sunshine. No daylight will be saved in this movie. Sunshine. This is sunshine. an intentional pick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> All right. Sunshine next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We hope you'll join us for that. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. <laughs>